Welcome back, Vinyl Community. Update time. Some new records I picked up and been spinning. What we're listening to, reggae album from 1980. For a space, Fly High and Nancy. Rich man, poor man, beggar man, thief. I and I and I are one love. Uh, very obscure artist and album here. Uh, Horace Faith was from Jamaica, kind of moved to the UK in the late 60s, early 70s, then a bustling market for reggae. Uh, recorded some singles for the Trojan label, the most successful of which I think was a cover of the Checkmates limited song, Black Pearl. Uh, recorded quite a few singles, kept performing, kept uh, trying to get things going in the music business, would have to wait until 1980 for this one and only album by him in kind of a roots reggae style. Includes the insert. Uh, some quite notable players on here, actually. He's got uh, Brinsley Ford from Azawad, George Oban, Delroy Washington, recorded some a uh, couple of albums for the Virgin label. Uh, Dandy Livingston, another Trojan artist on backing vocals, but uh, very much kind of a roots reggae sound of the time, late that late kind of Bob Marley sound. Uh, quite a, uh, almost has a feel of a concept album. There's uh, some lyrical references to some of the struggles he went through trying to get to get going in the music business and the uh, trials and tribulations he experienced. Unfortunately, this would be his only album, uh, fell into obscurity after this, and uh, reportedly returned to Jamaica in 2015 in ill health and uh, ended up passing away, unfortunately little noticed. Uh, very obscure artist, probably most uh, reggae fans would kind of even struggle to, uh, to recall anything about him. The uh, reason I picked this up was I was reading the, uh, the good old... Trojan Records 50th anniversary book. I've been kind of working my way through this. At the back, they've got some artist biographies and Horace Faith is in there. Here he is there. They've kind of admit there's not a whole lot of information on him, but uh, that LP gets mentioned as a good one. And it uh, sparked a trigger to memory that I've seen that LP in the local, uh, the local shops. It's a Canadian pressing on the Rio label. And uh, I remember I'd flipped by that record many times, never really paid it too much attention. So after reading that, I decided to go back and pick it up. Some other pickups, uh, thrift stores dried right up for me again, but I did find this one the other day. History of Rhythm and Blues, Volume 4. There's a whole series of these on Atlantic Records. It's a very early press, actually, on the uh, the Red Atlantic Canadian label. Very nice condition. There's just kind of one scratch on the outside rim that gives a couple of clicks, but uh, a lot of drifters on here, a lot of coasters. A uh, tune for me is one I don't think I knew before. The Drifters, I Count the Tears, fantastic tune. So very nice condition other than that one scratch. Nice to pick that up. I've seen some of the other volumes of this around, never really checked them out though. Uh, some world music. I picked this one up recently. It's a reissue. Uh, early 70s album, I believe, from Brazil. Miguel de Deus. He was a member of a group called Os Brazos, and this has him getting into the uh, the Black Power movement that was then getting influential in Brazil in the early 70s, bringing in elements of funk into the music, and uh, he is definitely right in that uh, James Brown tradition, uh, kind of not heavy on the, the uh, lyric department, but uh, strong on the funk quotient. Black Soul Brothers, awesome cover art there. Miguel de Dios. Cool reissue. Picked up a couple of Mr. Bongo reissues le recently. This one is Rob, Funky Rob Way. And Rob's Way is the funky way. Again, in that kind of James Brown influence tradition, the vocals are almost uh, just one more percussive element, uh, just there to accentuate the beat, the groove. A little bit of disco on here as well. 
funky Rob way. I think this has been uh, sampled quite a bit from what I understand. Another Mr. Bongo reissue that came out very recently kind of caught my eye, looked intriguing. Akofa Akusa, hope I'm pronouncing that right. Lovely cover there. Uh, this is, uh, not sure what country she's from, maybe Ghana. But uh, anyway, lyrics kind of uh, partly in French, uh, very folk influenced, I would say. This has that very 60s folk sound. If she was singing in English, you would think it was uh, some uh, US folk singer. But a lovely pressing on here. And what does the notes here say? Togo leaves from Togo. Not gone. So very lovely, uh, kind of a French chanson tradition uh, in there as well. Bit of a Latin element. Lovely, lovely album. Lovely vocals. Picked up, uh, went out, I didn't make it out on Record Store Day. <laughs> Record Store Day is probably a distant memory of by the time I get to uploading this, but uh, it was pretty recent as of now. Uh, didn't make it out on the day. Uh, went a few days later. Was hoping there'd be some stuff still around. I had to, kind of a list of things I was sort of interested in. Uh, fortunately, there wasn't kind of a whole lot left that I was looking for, but I did manage to pick up a couple. Uh, probably the top of my list was Nightfall by Johnny Osborne. This is the first ever uh, reissue of this one. Got the uh, title track on a reissue 10 inch single as well as, and I first encountered it on some uh, CD compilation, but I've never had the album. And this comes from VP Records on a lovely kind of a uh, coffee marble pressing. Uh, Johnny Osborne, very prominent dance hall singer in the 80s. Uh, started out kind of the late 60s, recorded a couple of uh, couple of albums for the Techniques label, went to Canada for a few years where he was uh, kind of involved in the Toronto music scene, came back to Jamaica late 70s, early 80s, recorded the classic Truth and Rights for Studio One, classic LP from the very early dance hall era, and went on to uh, to cut a staggering number of hit singles through the early 80s and into the mid 80s. Uh, kind of maybe not that well known, never really had like a convincing image, but he cranked out hit after hit. And uh, this finds him working with producer Linval Thompson. This is 1981 originally. Uh, wanted to get this one. Our original of this is not gonna happen. I don't think there's even a single copy for sale on Discogs. So uh, Linval Thompson, the producer, Roots Radix, the band, uh, mixed by Scientist at King Tubby's, recorded at Channel One Studio, which is uh, pretty much all you need to know right from the credits, even if you don't know who Johnny Osborne is. Uh, Nightfall, big tune. First track, Kiss Somebody, was one of his big tunes. Uh, this uh, The only thing with this reissue is the sound quality is a little uh, flat. Uh, I think they've extended it with some uh, dub versions and a couple of DJ tracks by Papa Tulo, which weren't present on the original edition. So uh, that extra length on each side, I think, cuts down on the dynamics of the sound quality, unfortunately. But definitely nice to have that in the collection. Uh, last record store day I picked one I picked up I saw this on vinyl Richie's video I have not uh, heard of this before that poppies it's a compilation of psychedelic tracks from the Vanguard original sound and stacks labels uh, you got Buffy st. Marie with the title track from her illuminations album uh, other groups I'm familiar with is Circus Maximus I have an album by them the serpent power I've heard of and some other ones I've never heard of so nice psychedelic comp there, and uh, red vinyl, fittingly, poppies, cool psychedelic stuff. Uh, last one I think I'll show today, I'm going to kind of keep it brief. Uh, this is kind of part of an ongoing saga that's been going on. Long time viewers might remember uh, quite a while ago, maybe a year, year and a half or two even, I showed a Hawaiian record I found in the thrift store. I was total blind by I ended up posting that on Facebook, on my Facebook page, and uh, after a while, the uh, artist's daughter got in touch with me, wanting to buy the record. The record is Hapa by Lee Fernandez and Brothers. The reason it caught my attention was the uh, 70s fashion game is on point there with the white leisure suit, platform shoes, thought maybe it'd be some funky stuff. Hapa is a kind of Hawaiian jargon for half or mixed race. Uh, so this guy's daughter got in touch with me and this copy was actually autographed by him. He had a dedication written on the, my LP copy there. She wanted to buy it, 
uh, told me the story how her dad had passed away a few years ago. She didn't own a copy of the LP. So I said, this belongs to you, take it. I sent it to her. She was actually uh, living in Tacoma at that point, just a couple hours south of me. Uh, I'd actually been through her city just uh, shortly before we got in touch. So uh, I sent her the album. She was very grateful. We've kind of kept in contact since then. She's a military wife, so she has just uh, relocated to the UK recently where her husband is stationed. And uh, But she did arrange for me to receive a CD copy of the album. So I've got his music back in the collection. Sent me a little note here. Uh, but uh, quite of a cool story of her dad who, uh, who had passed away a few years ago. He was a Navy SEAL who served in Vietnam. He was a... Uh, uh, expert in martial arts, 6th degree black belt in karate, 2nd degree black belt in judo, 3rd degree black belt in aikido. So he was he was quite the guy. Uh, he got into performing, appeared on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, The Dinah Shore So, and Merv Griffin. Uh, performed for Sammy Davis Jr., Dean Martin, and Jerry Lewis and Bob Hope, who all tipped him $100. Uh, he had a studio on Maui where uh, some celebrities would come in and kind of jam from time to time, including uh, one of the actors from the MASH TV show. Uh, he was quite involved with uh, with uh, charity charities for children. Uh, helping handicapped kids and performing on uh, telethons and sadly passed away a few years ago. So very nice to have him back in the collection. Okay guys, that's all I've got for you today. Hope everybody's doing well out here, out there. Pfft, out here. I'm doing well here. Hope you're doing well out there. Okay, got more coming for you very soon. So until then, thanks for tuning in and peace.